Hello, my name is Philip Riken. I serve as the president of Wheaton College and as a minister in the Presbyterian Church in America. And I have my Bible open to one of the best books in the Bible. Of course, I could say that about any book in the Bible. But I happen to have open the Song of Songs. What an extraordinary book. What an amazing gift it is that God would put this kind of love poetry into the Bible to awaken our desire for love. Um, that's something we need in our culture. Uh, people often settle for sex instead of love. They often um, look for love in a lot of the wrong places. Often our commitment to truly love others is weak rather than strong. And uh, I have to say, if there's anything I need in my life, it's more love, more, more love for all the people that God has given me to love. And that's not limited to marriage um, either. And this book isn't limited to marriage. Um, ultimately, it's about a love relationship with Jesus Christ, and that's something that God offers to every one of us, married or single, male or female, whoever we are, there's something for us in, in this great book of the Bible. Uh, what I want to do over the next week is uh, invite you to join me in looking at key passages all the way through the Song of Songs. I want to share briefly some of the, the meaning of these verses and a little bit of application, just encourage you. In, in the love of God. This is really um, an album of love songs. And uh, I wanna listen to a few of these tracks with you and think about them, reflect on them, pray over them. And I think you'll be encouraged in the love of God through the Song of Songs. <laughs> 